Hi there, it's Peter here again, the guy who hates tomatoes but loves front-end development. In this video, we will have a look what's new in the VS Code after the October 2017 update. The first thing we'll need to do, we'll need to update VS Code to the latest version. So click on the badge on the notification, a restart to update. And this will download the new version and hopefully show us a few new cool features. So let's see the restart. Now we have a new version of VS Code running. And the first one, the first update is multi root workspace release to stable. Okay, so this been already in the preview mode, in the developer mode, in the what is it called? The green icon. Um, it's the VS Code preview where all the preview features are enabled before they make it to the stable version. This multi root workspace lets you drag multiple folders and files and make that as one project. Before then, you had to only use one folder as your project. Now you can create your project from multi root workspaces. And the second one vertical panels, we can now dock the terminal to the right side by clicking on this icon, we'll move it to the right side, which might be cool on bigger screens. But for my for example, for my videos, I'll always prefer it at the bottom because I want to see it more of the main panel. The third one Git indicators in Explorer. This is a very cool feature. I like it a lot. And as you can see in the file browser file Explorer, some of the files are green, some of them are yellow. So the yellow are updated files. And the green ones are new files that I've added. And also, obviously, the green, uh, the red ones, the ones which I've removed, they not they're not showing I'm in the Explorer. But if you can see the commit, you'll see that one file has been removed. And that's why we don't see any red here. So it's only updated files and new files that are showing in a different color or folders, which is really, really cool. And the last feature we'll look at is the inline pending change review, where you can see what you've changed from your current version to the previous version. And you can see it in line in here. So you don't have to compare the two files side by side, but you can scroll down. And you can see which code has been removed from this file, which has been added, there should be a plus sign. Yes, this is the code I've added in this version. If you have a file where there are multiple changes, you can also scroll to the next one and previous by clicking the arrow up and down. Okay, so these are the most notable features of the new October 2017 VS Code. Go check it out, download it. And let me know in the comments, what is the best feature you like about the new version of VS Code. And one thing actually I forgot is the new logo, the blue logo is back. So as you as you know, there was a lot of lot of uh, bad talks about the orange version. And Microsoft reviewed it and put it back to blue. So I think everyone now can calm down and just enjoy the blue VS Code. And that's it all for today. Hope you've enjoyed this VS Code update. Hope you like some of the cool features. And let me know in the comments if there is any specific area of VS Code that you want me to cover in the following videos. Until next time, happy coding. Bye.